Hello, the video you are watching right now was completely edited on my new Dell Optiplex 7010 and the entire build as it is, including the monitor, is $367. Pretty good for something that can edit a 1080p video if you just happen to look in the quality section. That should tell you what kind of journey it was to get this thing out. But of course, I didn't let that stop me. And of course, even though it's a 1080p video, I hope the quality's still good enough. The main thing I wanted was just a base computer I can just keep in one place. And this wasn't the first time I'd done this. I actually bought a computer for my sister, an HP Compact. And as well as my case, my PC, I got my sister one a while ago. This was uh, October of last year. I got this one. This one, uh, this is a, uh, <laughs> there's many conflicting things on it. First of all, this says Core i3 on it right here, which, and Windows 7, has Windows 10 and a Core i5, quad core Core i5. This is a Core i5 2500, this is a 3470. And of course, that computer's doing really well. We put a GT 1030 in it. It has a 256 gigabyte SSD, as well as 16 gigabytes of RAM. That computer and the Dell Optiplex are really similar. It's just the HP Compaq is smaller and the Dell Optiplex is a full-size tower. However, the tower has the room for the upgrades. If you want to do the most upgrades to your computer that you decide to buy, the full-size tower is the way to go. And I'm actually surprised that more people don't buy these things. I mean, they are everywhere. They're in bulk lots. Offices and schools like to get rid of these things, at least the older versions of these things, and upgrade to newer versions. So is your old school computer gonna actually edit video? So. DaVinci Resolve 17 has a special feature. It likes a dedicated graphics card, but not only that, it requires a certain age of graphics driver for even Intel HD graphics that I don't have in this PC because the latest graphics driver is from 2016. Mmm, boy, that's great, isn't it? So good. Well, let's just say it's possible, but not necessarily the best way to edit video or recommended way to edit video, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I did it anyway. And this entire video you're watching for is edited on this computer. So the first obstacle I ran into was actually after doing the upgrades, installing DaVinci Resolve. The newest drivers for this system are from 2016 and it needs newer drivers. It just needs a newer graphics card. And the only way to get around that is to put a newer graphics card in this thing. So either I need to go out and get a GT 1030 or something like that that doesn't suck up the power supply too much and you know has at least two gigabytes of VRAM so it can run Resolve at all, or I stick with Premiere Pro. Not an easy choice, because both cost money. But Premiere Pro is gonna cost more money in the long run, so I will just upgrade it with a graphics card, but not yet. I will use Premiere Pro for the time being, but I will update you when I do upgrade the graphics card, maybe make a follow-up video to this one. Because I do want to test Resolve, but I couldn't because Resolve doesn't work. So with Premiere Pro fully up and running, how does it handle video editing? That is better, and that's totally editable. Like. Even if you're playing at a low resolution, you know, as long as you can edit the footage, you can you can work with it. Well, a 1080p video coming from the C100, which is actually recording me right now, is no problem. Even with the color grades at half or quarter resolution, and you're just fine. Which, that's really good news, because a lot of times people don't even need more than that. But, me, being a cinematographer, I do like to have more than that, being able to edit 4K footage. So I couldn't import, obviously, Blackmagic RAW files into Premiere. So Premiere doesn't actually support Blackmagic RAW files yet, so that's kind of a disappointment. But yeah, no problem. What else can I do? Well, I converted them on my laptop, so yes, I cheated a little bit. Okay, here, I'm just converting all the files on my laptop. This is pretty much the only cheating bit that I have to do for this video because I'm recording the rest of it on my Blackmagic in ProRes 1080p, so. Yeah, that should work better, hopefully. And I put the 4K files, these are MP4 H.264 files because that's the most compatible with just about anything I can think of. I wish I could have done it at ProRes, but you can't export ProRes outside of Resolve. 
But I did set my camera to ProRes after learning that RAW wasn't gonna work. So I set my camera to 1080p ProRes, my Black Magic 4K 1080p ProRes for the rest of the video and the rest of the B-roll that you're probably seeing. So yeah, that's, that's the story on that. So my quality is lowered, but still usable. And it will edit the ProRes files from the Blackmagic 4K and the files from the C100, the AVCHD files from the C100, just fine. You know, even 4K MP4 files, it will work with. You know, not the smoothest experience, but it will work with it. So the answer to can you edit video on this machine is yes. It's just not the fastest experience or the most painless experience. And if you want to do anything above 4K or even 4K at all, it's going to be more of a challenge. If you are a serious professional, chances are you're not going to be getting one of these anyway. But if you're just starting out or you need a computer or you might be a student or something like that and you want a computer that is able to edit video, then yeah, go with one of these things. Just make sure you get a four core processor and get the newest, most powerful one you can because that processor does a lot. I'd recommend a graphic card, definitely and as much RAM as you can cram in there. Right now I have 14 gigs in this computer, but sooner or later I'm going to upgrade it to 24 or 32, depending on what the money looks like and what it does, and as much as I need. Probably 24 will be more than enough for the type of editing I'm gonna be doing anyway, with it being 1080p. And I think the last question is, should you go with an older Mac or an older PC? I don't think so, because here's the thing. If you need Mac OS, you're gonna have to pay more for it because now Mac OS is just updating so much and these don't run the latest version of Mac OS. This is 10.11 and I believe you have to go to at least 2012, 13 to get the latest version of Mac OS. And even if you do, it's not gonna last that long where those PCs, Windows 10 has got at least another five, three to five years for that to last, and the Windows 11s it still supports a lot of older machines as well. Should you get one of these? I mean, unless you're only gonna do really basic work. I mean, these are, yes, they come with a display. That is true, these iMacs come with a display. And you can get, and you can get some older Mac Pros as well that have later versions of Mac OS on it, but I just think it's a kind of a hard buy to me because those PCs are just so upgradable. This was a pain to upgrade just the SSD, and that's all I did to it. I didn't upgrade the RAM, I didn't upgrade anything else, I just upgraded the hard drive to an SSD, and it was a pain to get the software running on it. It was it was just a pain. Whereas those PCs getting, getting swapping out the hard drive for an SSD, adding that on, adding more RAM, it's, it's so easy. You have to buy the monitor, sure. You have to buy the keyboard and mouse, sure. But I think it's worth it because you're still gonna end up spending less than this because these just are pretty dang high value. Maybe this one isn't, but you're not gonna get the latest software, whereas those, you can get a lot of the latest software because it runs Windows 10. So yes, just a sort of shortish, longish video on computers. Um, I hope to be doing more with this computer when it comes to editing because I do like a desktop tower because it's just so versatile with its upgrades whereas a laptop is not as nearly as upgradable even if it's an upgradable laptop it's not as nearly as upgradable as these old things and these things are pretty bulletproof they will just tend to last hopefully knock on the wall but my sister's has been going strong so hopefully you know, this will this will be taken care of and it'll do well. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.